we believe we've identified the person responsible for the murder of Nico Smith that occurred at 1618 West Patel on Tuesday, July 14th at 1049 p.m. Suspect has been identified as Darren D. Brown, male black, 22 years of age. An arrest warrant was issued earlier today after working with the state's attorney's office and the bond of $2 million has been secured. Um, picture of Darren Brown. As uh, we previously, previously stated, uh, we do not believe that the acts of violence that have been committed over the last eight days are random. Uh, we believe the victims were selected for very specific reasons. Uh, we're continuing to work on investigations and have been doing so around the clock. We are working on establishing uh, or identifying relationships and patterns between the homicides, but at this time we cannot speak about that. I hope you understand that, but we cannot uh, speak on things that may jeopardize our investigations. Obviously, we still have a lot of work to do. Um, we can talk about the timeline if you guys would like. We can open it up to questions um, over the last eight days. We kind of have it mapped out. Um, we've numbered the last eight days, the occurrences, times, dates, and locations. But um, we'll answer what we can. I'm not trying to stonewall anybody, but I, as again, I hope you understand that we're just something we can't get into. Alex? Um, this is Idaho for your sub assistant chief, uh, chief or the captain. Um, can you tell us a little, little bit about how you identified this suspect? Any we were able to get uh, recover physical evidence at the scene, which we shared with you the other day. We do have some uh, uh, witness participation, but other than that, I can't really get into a, a whole lot. Um, we're confident in the identification, obviously, and um, we were able to secure the warrant. And just to follow up, I remember a couple days ago, the captain mentioned that as of right now, looking at the three homicides at the time, that they didn't appear to be gang related. Can you, can you still confidently say that now, or perhaps there is activity, or you just can't say it? Yeah, I, I, I think that uh, um, as we sit in front of you today, uh, that still stands true, that, that we have not found a correlation between a group or a gang um, or anything in between that. Um, one thing that we've, uh, like the only pattern that we've found at this point has been that uh, uh, these acts of violence are not random. Target and intent. Can you talk about? Uh, we were talking, uh, Captain, a couple of days ago about relationships between either some of the <coughs> victims or, in this case, one of the suspects. Are there any relationships that, that, that you're finding? If, if you can get into detail or just confirm, are there any relationships between any of the victims we're, or suspects? Alex, we're working on, on trying to put those things together, okay. but again, we can't. Right now, it's speculation, and that's not our business. We don't we don't speculate. We have to prove or disprove, and, and we'll work on that and continue to work on it. So the picture is out there. What can uh, the community, the public, do to help along with the investigation? You know, and one of the things, as I said before, was uh, the community involvement. We need the information. Uh, stress to the community to call with information, and also uh, if they do know the whereabouts. Uh, the Crime Stoppers number is available, 673-9000. Uh, they don't have to give their identity and um, just pass on the information. If they see him in public, call the police. Do not approach him, um, but just give the police a call. And again, I'd, I'd like to add to that too, <coughs> that if we have five witnesses that step forward, we'd like to have 10. Um, what we know and what we can prove are two different things, and w our job is to provide the best prosecutable case we can to the state's attorney's office. We only get one bite at that apple, okay? We cannot take a, take a case, have the state's attorney's office charge it and try it and find something out later um, and take another shot at it. We have one shot at this, so it, it does take time, it does take witnesses, it does take involvement, um, and that's what we continually ask for. And you said witnesses helped identify Darren Brown. Yes, and I would also say that there's strength in numbers. So when we have one or two come forward, typically we have others come forward. Um, you know, fear of crime is uh, sometimes worse than the crime itself, so we need this involvement. Um, we need people to take back their neighborhoods, and, and the expectations are there that no one tolerates this, and it's not excusable. Are you getting that community involvement in any of the other cases that have been announced? We are getting information. It's, it's streaming in, but again, we have to confirm information, we have to follow up on information. Um, some of it is, is uh, more usable and better than others. Um, 
but we, we welcome all information, whether it be a rumor, um, you heard something, you saw something, um, we will sort through it and something that may not make sense today may make perfect sense tomorrow. So we need that information. Are these, I know, a